Hi there Scorpio, welcome to your monthly intuitive reading for August. Let's see what might be on the cards for you. Getting started with the Sacred Power reading cards Scorpio, I will then go to the Work Your Light Oracle, draw you a lead tarot energy from the Moon Child Tarot, it's on the ground, before heading to the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot for the tarot positions. To let you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. All the links are below the video, including the website, including the link to my website. <laughs> Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself or learn tarot with me through the initiation. Okay, guys, let's go to the work your light oracle, get that out, and then we will read the oracle cards before heading into the tarot. Okay, let's start with these. <coughs> Excuse me, I am still recovering. We've got Source. So you might be feeling more connected this month, Scorpio, to your angels, spirits, or guides. They also can send you messages through your intuitive channel. Now, we need to keep in mind that the kind of messages that Source send us, you know, aren't like spelt out very, very clear. Um, they are subtle and they communicate in the subtle realms. Now, that is because there is universal law that our angel spirits and guides cannot directly, you know, interfere. Uh, they can only offer guidance and, and kind of nudge us. So the synchronicities, the angel numbers, you know, the kind of serendipitous moments, they are generally guidance from your angels. So pay attention, guys. We need to be aware in order to, you know, that magic is happening around us all the time. But if we're not tuned in, we don't receive it. Yeah, Davis. This is actually, Davis are, you know, that celestial beings that may be guiding you or protecting you or working with you from the other side, guys. So really tune in this month. And the Work Your Light card is the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits and soul tribe. So this is really saying that there is a sense of co-conspiring with the universe, with your guides. There is a sense of uh, divine orchestration happening for you this month. Intuitive hits. Yeah, pay attention, guys. Pay attention to that intuition. Let's get a lead tarot energy to guide this reading, Scorpio. Can we have one tarot energy, please? To sum up the energy of Scorpio, here we go. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is an energy of whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest or make happen, you've hoped, dreamed, and wished for, actually beginning to, to shore up. The beginnings of success, the beginnings of material success, right? So it really can be that, you know, you're beginning to put a, a plan in place to really make it happen. For some of you, <clears throat> this is about, you know, coming together with your network or your soul tribe to make things happen. It can be an energy of work or study or apprenticeship, you know, really getting together and building something. Um, also learning and development, you know, taking the lessons of the past into, you know, what you're trying to create here. And because, you know, you are paying attention to those, this time it's, it's working out for you. So let's see what direction this goes in Scorpio. I am heading off over to the right of weight now. And Scorpio, I'm going to bring in the energy of the recent past. Ten of Wands, yeah, so that's a completion energy, or you might have been carrying some, some stress or weight on your shoulders, Scorpio. Let's bring in your biggest challenge this month. Biggest challenge is the lovers, okay. That is a Gemini energy from the Major Arcana. For those of you that like to know the signs, advice from spirit or tarot. Oh, ten of swords, guys. Two tens. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck as that comes out. Let's get the result. Oh, beautiful. The Empress. Okay. Love that. Let's get the clarifiers, guys. The clarifiers can give us more information 
they can uh, sometimes change the meaning slightly of the cards that you see there because I read them as a pair. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy for me. Justice, Libra energy. The Empress uh, links to Taurus and Libra. Two of Cups, guys, it's clear, isn't it? Probably for many of you as well, as you look at the cards that are on the table, the Seven of Swords, yeah, okay. Let's get one more clarifier for that Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups at the bottom of this deck. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump straight in here. Um, what, what I'm seeing is that it is just, just as time in a sense of partnership, the lovers. Now, the lovers can be our soulmate energy and our partners, our romantic um romantic partnerships but it can also be you know any any sort of partnership our our friendships it could be um work partnership as well with the three of pentacles here and that could be somebody that you are you know in business with um or it could be someone that you have a close like friendship with in the workplace or something like that um there really is a sense that this partnership is is coming to an end right there's a severing of ties the lovers, um, it can also be about big choices and about harmony as well. So, but with the two cups and the readings, guys, I'm really, you know, taking this as, you know, it's time to make a, a pretty serious choice around a partnership here for you. In the recent past, Ten of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. What I see here is that, Scorpio, you have been really carrying the load in this partnership. So if this is a, in a business partnership or in the workplace, I see that you are the one that's doing more work, you know, and there's a sense of maybe you getting to that point of burnout, right? You can't carry someone else. It is really time for you to, you know, really bring this to the attention of that person because you've got your own household to run. You've got your own life outside of this, you know, work shouldn't be our lives, right? If this is in a uh, in a romantic partnership for you, I do give multiple storylines in my general readings, guys, so that they can resonate for you. Uh, again, in the household situation, this is you either you know doing everything in the household. It is not there is not a fair division of labor. Um, it could be that you are the one who's doing all of the nurturing. Um, child care and that kind of thing but also the one who's actually responsible for bringing home the money the, the paycheck that supports the household right and it's kind of like that point of it's come to breaking point um, because I feel that the other person is just not pulling their weight and it could be that they are you know turning a blind eye consciously you know obviously you wouldn't have a problem with it if you know the other person is is trying or you know maybe they're out of work and they're doing everything they can to get work or something like that but I feel like the other person has um, kind of knocked off in some way right that's what I'm feeling and you are carrying them carrying the weight carrying the burden but there's only so long that you can can do this for and you know with the link here to the Capricorn energy links to the devil I feel like you are feeling uh, really bound um that you can't get out of this because you have a responsibility to the other person, whether it's in business or whether it's in a uh, rom romantic connection, you are the one that is like providing the, the, you know, the paycheck for them. You are the one that's putting food on their table. So you feel this like responsibility and heavy burden of, you know, carrying on with this. But Scorpio, your, you know, your, your back will break if you do that, right? You are going to be the one who, um, you know, gets uh, fatigue or breaks down in sickness or just, you know, mentally just needs a break. You need a break. So it's justice time, guys, right? The lovers and justice is about the fact that it's time to make some big changes around this partnership, right? Um, yeah, and for some of you, that is going to be ending the connection. Now, the lovers asks you to choose wisely. It's also a card of choice. 
generally around big matters of the heart, right? And it asks you to choose wisely because generally with the lovers, somebody does stand to be hurt, right? Um, and that's going to be both parties here because, you know, when even if it is our choice to end a connection, end a business partnership, you know, we have to go through that stage of loss and, and grief as well. So choose wisely, it says, but what you are really wanting to invite in your life is balance is harmony everything that the number six energy brings Scorpio mm -hmm. right balance here goes the karmic scales it's feeling very out of balance for you this connection so justice says it's time to to bring this to a head and you are going to need to have that communication you are going to have to have that communication this month and potentially think about severing ties or putting some very serious boundaries in place here for some of you uh, the justice energy, you know, can actually talk about, you know, seeking legal advice. Like if you are, you know, in a heavy business contract here or, you know, in a, in a marriage and you, uh, this is your last straw of, you know, of what you can take in this situation or, or de facto relationship, um, you might need to actually seek legal advice or initiate legal proceedings as well with the justice energy. But justice says there is some kind of change, there's some kind of uh, modification needed here to the situation. And in the advice position, guys, Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups, which clearly says spirit, Davis, source, is probably sending you in those intuitive hits to say, hey, you know what? This is the end, you know, this is the end. It's very clear, guys. Partnership, Ten of Swords. And it is a painful ending as well. Like, there are going to be hurts. There is going to be maybe arguments and that sort of thing. But you need to do what is right for you. There is that beautiful new dawn, that new day, that empress yellow energy here of happiness waiting to burst on the horizon. So... Angel Spirits Guides are sending you a very clear message that maybe it is the end of the road in this situation. Look at the outcome, guys. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, though. So the Empress is saying that there is a beautiful new beginning here. And what you have really, we talked about it with the Three of Pentacles, there's a deeper hope, dream, or wish for your life here before everything was so hard, before you got yourself burdened in the situation, tied up, bound to the situation. You had a bigger dream for your life, and that's going to come back in for you once you've you know, resolved the situation. It could be that you want to go off and study something. You know, you want to change your career. Uh, you want to, you know, start another business or something like that, but you haven't been able to because there was no room to move, no room to breathe here. You couldn't see any other options for your life, Scorpio, because you were just too busy going from, you know, work to home and back again, carrying the heavy load. So the Empress is going to say, hey, what do you want to make happen after this situation, Scorpio? Let's make it happen. Let's put a plan in place. Let's get things moving. Now, the Seven of Swords I'm seeing here um, is, it can be a betrayal energy, it can be a self-sabotage energy, it can be a sneaky undercurrent, um, you know, going through a situation, and I'm kind of feeling, just be careful that this person doesn't uh, retaliate in some way, try and sabotage your new opportunities, your new happiness, or something like that. Or also make sure you don't sabotage it yourself by going back in the situation. That's what I'm seeing the Seven of Swords as. Um, the Nine of Pentacles says that, yeah, you're probably going to have a period of being solo here, but my goodness, you won't regret it because the Nine of Pentacles is this high vibrational energy um, looking good, feeling better than ever, maybe going through a bit of a, a glow up, being completely magnetic, really just feeling uh, very, um, you know, high self-esteem energy. The Nine of Pentacles is also about this energy of independence and self-sufficiency. So the cards say you actually don't need this other person. You were the one that had all of the skills you, you can do it on your own. I mean, you were doing it on your own, but now you're going to do it on your own without it draining your energy, without being overburdened. So you will actually be able to use that energy to create and make happen whatever this deeper dream is that has been on your heart. Because the Empress says, I've been waiting for you. Let's just get on and birth this into the world. 
and make things happen. The Empress is a blessing of abundance um, when she appears in a reading. For some of you, this is monetary gain as well um, in your new ventures or maybe because you don't have to um, support this other person who was really, let's just be honest, taking advantage of your good nature. Scorpio, that is what I have for you and I do hope you enjoyed this monthly intuitive tarot reading for August. I wish you all the best with it if this is your reading and please do keep in mind it is a general reading for the, uh, for the collective. It can't possibly resonate for everybody. Feel free to drop me a comment guys. I do read them all and try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. Wishing you so much love and magic for your month. See you back here for plenty more readings soon. Bye for now.